Hey everybody, welcome back. Weren't you wearing that shirt yesterday? Hmm. Oh, um, well, I want to pick up. I want to pick up on uh, a concept that I introduced uh, in the last video. Um, the the concept of expectation, surprise, and inevitability. Um, we are uh, applying that to a song called "Lonely Stuff." And what uh, what was the expectation? Expectation of what? To expect what? To expect the rhyme stuff to uh, show up, but um, sort of uh, re rephrased in a different way. Uh, and as long as the surprise is inevitable, like of course, that's what, there's no better choice than that, then you've, then you've succeeded. Uh, but for really, for, for this whole thing to work, you need to create what I call an empty space. So you have to allow the listener time to fill in that empty space, to actually project the imagination and think, oh, I know where that's going. Am I right? Am I right? Yes, it's inevitable. So you got to give them a little time musically to um, really come into that empty space, fill that empty space, access their imagination, and ah, there it is, and let the uh, result be inevitable, we hope. So uh, expectation, surprise, and inevitability, and then filling in the empty space. And you know, it's harder to explain than it is to, to show. So uh, uh, from the first verse, uh, a glass of whiskey and a barroom stool. Somebody's singing about being somebody's fool, and they're giving up space. And that's lonely stuff. There's a woman dancing by herself She may be smiling But you can tell She's had it rough And that's lonely stuff Of course Bartender The glass is empty Let's have another round Kill that jukebox Turn off the TV I need to hear the sound of a lonesome whistle from an outbound train. A warm feeling gets in my brain. I can't get enough, so pour me another cup. What? Of that lonely stuff. Two strings. See how that worked? You have to. So pour me another cup. What, what, what? Of that lonely stuff. The listener's leaning forward, already completing that thought, completing that rhyme. Um, kill the jukebox, turn off the TV. I need to hear the sound of a lonesome whistle from an out, uh, outbound train. A warm feeling gets in my brain and I can't get enough. So pour me another cup, dot, 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 dot. What? Oh, that lonely stuff. Inevitable. Ah, surprise. Yeah, oh, it's a train. Oh, the cup. Now the, the whiskey is lonely stuff. Pour me another cup of that lonely stuff. Great metaphor there. Ah. So the, the listener, like you were, I hope, was participating in filling in that empty space. So those things work together just, just beautifully. Um, um, and then um, we repeat the uh, country bridge again. And... Uh, and then we get this, uh, the end of the story is this, and every listener that I've ever played this for, um, when I get to that last rhyme, is already filling in the empty space with lonely stuff, and the end of the story sort of reveals itself, the backstory and everything, and everybody who's already, who's hearing it for the first time is going, ah, oh, almost inevitably everybody, ah, oh, so they've already seen the end of the movie. I saw that coming. It surprised me a little bit, but it was inevitable. And so you've got the second, uh, the second bridge, really, um, uh, which is now chorus, and it says, uh, Bartender, the glass is empty, let's have another round. Now I change it here. I need one more before I'm ready to face the truth I found when I got her message loud and clear. When I drove home and didn't find her there, I guess she'd had enough of that lonely stuff. Of 
that lonely stuff. See how that works? Set up an expectation, surprise him, but it seems inevitable. But in order for that to really work, you gotta give a little bit of time, create an empty space uh, so they can fill in the empty space. Allow them to enter into your song, access their imagination and go, oh man, that's, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs>